have several common dolphins, a sea lion, and this humpback theme on the variety of things. Squid, there's a little bit of a pot. Whoa! Calista! That's a big dolphin. That's a big dolphin. Literally a ton of food. Okay, now, the dolphin, they're about the size of a human. They're some of our favorite local residents. We're pretty fortunate to school a dolphin year round. Make it consume up to 10 to 15 pounds a day. Well, this just looks like a really bad time to be an anchovy. <laughs> Pelicans, the sheer waters can actually, you'll see some of them dive down, they can actually swim underwater. To try to catch that fish. There you go, some just some common dolphin darting up here. Look at the dolphin, right there. activity is still happening, they're probably not going to stay down too long. Probably just went down to get another better angle to come back up. All this life, this is just a great example of why healthy oceans matter. Not only all this wildlife right here, and just think about it, we're so close to millions of people by the Oh, and right here, we have large herds of animals roaming freely in their natural environment. Where they get on their long and healthy lives, not cooped up in any kind of tank on the mainland. Just roaming freely. Whoa. And it's just a great example everything we do up on land and the animals out here. Look at that. that whale right in the middle of the dolphin. Oh, he just blew it over on its side. That was Peck Ben. You're not sure what a humpback is? A humpback? <laughs> they are the famous ones, you know, the ones you see in commercials with their acrobatic displays. Launching their bodies high out of the water. Never know what you're going to get with a humpback. Kind of a medium sized whale, full grown, about 50 feet long. Average is about a ton of foot. The dolphins are coming back toward us. Yeah, yeah they're, they're coming back toward us. Anything that's going on at all, what we do we want to give them? Nice. 
Looks like I'm trying to add some in here because we need bins and this and everything to be down. So we'll try to get at least one more look at this pump back before we get you guys into the harbor here. But just because that well went down right there doesn't mean it's going to come up right there. It could come up anywhere. It's possible it's following those dots. There it is. There it is. It's actually turned and coming straight for us. Oh, <laughs> we should jump in there. Did you see that pelican go in? None of these animals actually really chew their food. Dolphins actually got... Oh, well, there's another whale out in front of us about a mile out. See the spout off in the distance in the one o'clock position. See, sorry, am I blocking? Get ready for it. Oh. Here it comes. Come on. have small little peg teeth that they use to grasp their prey and then just kind of swallow it whole. Oh, grab maybe one, two, three, four, five, and then elephants just open their mouth and their throat pouch there can expand the water and they can just scoop everything up and then you can see that if they got a fish, they just like that. the exact same technique that humpback whales do. They come up from the bottom, open their mouths, they got grooves in their throat, and their nerves and muscles actually expand and stretch. And then those nerves muscles will then contract back and then it forces all the water out the front of their mouth and the sides of their mouth and their baleen. Something's happening right here at the water pop in the And come up right there in the bubbles off the
Alright, well, yeah, we're gonna have to take that as a wave goodbye. Alright. Okay. What an awesome look. What a great way to end a beautiful day. We're gonna just slowly move out of the area. And sometimes you can just keep an eye behind the boat and watch the action happen. But we gotta get you guys back. I know it's kind of hard to leave such a spectacular display of Mother Nature here.